Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys my everyday makeup look that I have been doing since living in Paris. I moved to Paris in January, on January 11th, 111. And I feel like every day I wear less and less makeup. I feel like the longer I live here, the less makeup I wear. Really, it's because I'm walking around a lot and I notice at the end of the day, if I have a lot of makeup on, it just looks really bad so it's just better to not wear that much makeup i already did my skincare this morning but it is now three o'clock in the afternoon so my face is not as moisturized as i want it to be so i'm gonna go ahead and add some more moisture back into my skin i'm gonna use the boom boom milk three-in-one cream from viola fr and then the embroidery slate creme i'm just gonna add a little bit of both the Embroilies Light Creme is definitely a staple in the French pharmacy products. I got my makeup done once by a French makeup artist and she had that cream, that moisturizer, and she used it as a primer and I think it's the best. I have stopped wearing foundation and titan moisturizer but if you are wanting a heavier coverage, I love the Fenty skin tint that is amazing. I also really like the La Roche-Posay SPF Tintin uh, Moisturizer, but that's not really a lot of coverage. I feel like it's a placebo effect. I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a lot. Today I'm using the NARS concealer in the shade Light 2 in vanilla. I just put it on my under eyes because I have been going to bed late and waking up early and you can tell by my face. This NARS concealer is nice, but I don't think it's the best. I actually prefer the Glossier concealer. I feel like it's more creamy. It's not as heavy in coverage, but it just feels more lightweight and creamy. This one does not feel blendable at all. That's why with the NARS one, I actually use my finger because I feel like if I use a beauty blender, it just soaks up the product, whereas my finger, it just kind of melts in a little bit more. This part has not changed in my makeup routine. You guys already know. I am obsessed with this milk highlighter in the shade Lit. I have been using this for the past four years. I have not changed my liquid highlighter. This has been my highlighter, my go-to highlighter. It just looks so natural. I love it. I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. I just take the beauty blender and then just go like this all around for that dewy look. I have to tell you guys, living in Paris, it's been, a, it's been insane. It's been like this, a, a, a big roller coaster. The first month and a half was really hard just because I was trying to find my place here, make friends, and now I'm making friends, I'm creating content finally, I found my content friends. If you are into the Parisian French aesthetic, I'm sure you follow them on social media as well. And I'm just finally finding my place here. My boyfriend and I are still together. If you didn't see my last vlog, I went to be at it, so that was really fun. Okay, and then I take the top of the beauty blender and I just soak that into the skin. Sounds weird. But you know what I mean. Also guys, I have been sick on and off, non-stop since I moved here. I moved here, I got sick. And then I was fine for like a week. And then I got pink eye. And then I was fine. And then I got the flu. And then I was fine. And then I got the cold. Then I was fine. Went to Biarritz, I was fine. And now, if you can't tell, I'm fighting another cold. This place is disgusting. For blush, I am just using the Raspberry Beret from Merit. I love this blush so much. I feel like since I'm on the paler side of life right now, this blush is really nice for my pale days. Since I don't wear eyeshadow, why not? Why not add some blush eyeshadow? For my brows, I am using this e.l.f. Wow Brow from e.l.f. Overall, I am starting to feel a lot better here and a lot happier. It just took some time for sure. I do have like ups and downs. There are days where I feel like I don't know if I belong here and I don't know if this is my place. 
but then there's other days and weeks where I'm like, oh my god, I am living my best fucking life, and then I'm not, so just reality. There's definitely a lot of pros and cons of moving abroad and leaving everything you know behind, but it's an adventure, why not? Last week I was just like sitting in my house and I was just chilling on my bed, watching friends, getting ready to go to bed. I was in bed. And I see out of the corner of my eye, something move. It was a mouse. There was a mouse in my house. I named him Louie. Um, I think Louie left. I did get this sound device. It like basically creates this frequency that only pests and like rodents can hear, I guess. And it makes them go away. So ever since I got that, things have been okay. I am getting my hair cut though in like a week or two. I should probably look online to see what my appointment is because I forgot. Should probably add it to my calendar but i saw this guy on tiktok he has a dog and he lets the dog sit in your lap while he cuts your hair or does your hair and i was like okay sold i did reach out to him asking if i could bring my camera and film for you guys and he said yes so i'm really excited um it's my first haircut in Paris, and we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be really good. He's been a hairstylist for over a decade, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I like to make my eyes look a little bit darker, so I just take a brown pencil, and I put it on my top waterline, like, up here. Oh, no. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom and do this because I need to look, but... I hope you get what I mean. And then as you guys can see, I have a mole right here and I just like to go over with the pencil to enhance my mole. This Lay Mascara from Yolaine Paris is by far one of my favorite mascaras. I also really like the Rouge Mascara, but we have this one for now. I don't know about you guys, but I have not been loving the new Rouge collection. Don't get me wrong. I love the Rouge Beauty products so much, so much. Love the lip products, I love these little palettes, love the mascara, love the eyeliner, haven't tried the skincare. I don't know, the clothing lately? The last time I got clothing from them was in 2021, I believe, and it just felt cheap. Okay, I'm gonna try and hurry up and do this because the clouds are coming in, it's about to rain. Okay, I'm just using this nude mauve lip liner in baby lips from Laura Mercier. It's not really mauve, it's more pink. My lips are naturally pink. Like this is my natural lip color. And then this Chanel lipstick that I've been obsessed with. It's like the perfect sheer nude. Definitely worth the price. And that is the finished look. Thank you for watching guys. Let me know what other Parisian Paris videos you guys want to see. I will be in Paris until the middle of August. Um, I will be traveling a bit this summer and then I will be moving to the south in the middle of August. So we have some time in Paris before we go down south. <laughs> also, please watch my Paris vlogs. They're really fun and entertaining, okay? I'm a fun person when I want to be. I'm gonna go, the clouds are rolling in and it is messing up my lighting. Okay, bye.